Hello everyone, Josh Silverman from Constant Calibrating here at RTX Austin 2018 doing our yearly chat with Ray Narvaez Jr. It's that time again. It's that time, it's literally, it is Sunday. It is sometime after 6 p.m. It is 6.08. 6.08 p.m. People are still getting kicked out. Yeah, people, the Guardians are still imminently kicking people out. We don't have time, we have to get this interview yeah. done. So, but like, yeah, we're, we're talking to Ray, we're having, you know, so Ray, how has this RTX been for you? It's been great. This is the first time uh, we had a booth last year, but yep. we were working with a merch company. This time it was uh, all on our own. Uh, behind us is like the background where yeah. I was signing, and uh, the other half is a merch booth, and we sold a bunch of merch, made a bunch of money, and it went very, very well. So I think we'll be doing it again next year. That's really awesome. Like I, I really loved your setup because last year you said you worked with a different company. You know, it was a nice little booth, but this feels very you. Yes, you know, it feels this is very de you. definitely very, very uh, me and Tina. Tina yeah. did a great job yeah. setting this up. She did literally everything. I just showed up because I'm the <laughs> talent. Yeah. And I just stood here and I met a bunch of people. We actually kept count this year, roughly 1,600 people in three 1600 days. 1,600 people in three days. That's a lot of goddamn days. people, yeah. That's a lot great. of pictures and yeah. signings. As you can tell, my voice is very hoarse. You no, know, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm legitimately impressed. Like it's, yeah. it, it's just a crazy thing to really think well, about. Well, I'm here to meet as many people as possible, so it's the best way to do it. I know, it really is, but it's just like still the fact that you are able to do it is always just like... The worst part is, I feel like, obviously, 1,600 people is a lot of people. I feel like there's still so many people I didn't get to see, but, I mean, there's only so much time in the day. Only so much time in the day and only just so much, I mean, so much availability you can yeah. really have. I mean, that's what it boils down to, but... Uh, has there, for this event, I mean, yes, you've been mostly at the booth, but has there been really any, for you guys, highlights of this weekend, would you say? Uh, just uh, always having people to be excited to see me is yeah. always nice, or people who uh, take time out of their day, because obviously RTX is full of panels and yeah, all that stuff, just to wait in line and, you know, take the time for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to wait in line to meet me is very humbling, and, yeah. you know, I try to go, oh, lights are on, and it's always, uh, <laughs> oh, it's always nice to see them and, you know, give them their time, and they're always super yeah. excited, especially since, uh, you know, you don't need to pay, there's no ticketed system, you just kind of line up, and I'm here to meet you. Yeah, that's really awesome. So, uh, it's been another year, as we mentioned. Yes. So, the last year uh, on Twitch and everything, you've been... What are they doing? With I have the, no idea. Someone I'm, fire the electrician, please. I am please. loving. Yeah, the, the, like, this would be a great I'm, video. I know. I'm loving this vibe. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's me screwy video, but who cares? Yeah, like, we are it, on the floor, as you can tell. Yeah, yeah, no, we're on the floor. You know, actually, yeah, you're one of only two floor interviews we did this Hell year. Yeah. So it's actually it's really nice. Hell yeah. I, I I like the floor interview. I like the vibe. I like you know having the people. You know, well, we don't really get this as much right now because again, everyone's, yeah. been, everyone's, everyone's been, been kicked, kicked out. out yeah. But I still like you know the cavalcade of like people yeah. you see. I like the backdrop. Usually RTX, but now it's my backdrop. It's like I sponsored this episode. It's like seriously. It's like actually really cool thing we got going here so last year uh of things what's how do you feel you've grown over the year both as you know as a twitch streamer as a yeah. brand uh you know even so as an individual. the biggest thing is obviously still streaming stream yeah. has been going well maintaining growth here and there so that's uh still going well unbelievably i just passed three years so yeah we were just talking about that yeah, before I've, we were... I've officially so streaming has been my longest job ever it surpassed achievement hunter that's so it's crazy um that's nuts the biggest thing is we're no longer working with the merch company. We're doing everything uh, mm -hmm. at home. Uh, so all the merch here, uh, you know, we found local business in Austin, embroidery place, a printing place, and uh, it's it's been a lot of hard work. Tina's been working really hard, but it's great because we have total control now. We can make whatever we want. Like, you want to grab, you want to grab yeah. this yeah. disaster? Yeah, this is amazing. We're, like we've been able to. Uh, for the first time, this started off as a joke, and this is the perfect example of jokes going a little too far. It's a body pillow. We made a hundred, all sold out. This one is mine. We used it as a prop, but this is a perfect example of, um, you know, just the freedom of stuff we can make, make posters, you know, dumb yeah. stuff like that, and. Uh, you know we're gonna launch an online store hopefully in September, October, and then do everything in house. I mean we're gonna we're gonna package the shirts. You know we're gonna get the printing label, do all that, and it's uh, it's exciting. It's well, very very exciting step. One of the things we actually talked about last year was kind of like the financial way, like how streamers can actually be successful. Yes. Like that was one of our topics last year. So it's really cool to see you know how you you kind of like hinted at some things you were thinking yeah, yeah, about, yeah. but you've actually been diversifying and going into yeah. your own kind of well becoming your your own merchandising. Yeah. So know, like obviously streaming is gonna be the bulk of my. Uh, you know my, my money making but uh, YouTube obviously but this is the next big venture I yeah. mean being able to uh, since not working with the merch company all the profits go directly to us yeah. and uh, we're just super excited about it that's great and again it's it's nice quality stuff also. yes it's yes not, you know, people seem to like it so that's good yeah when people make their own merch you know things can sometimes go awry I feel like the fact when people know that like the people they're buying from are actually like packaging it themselves it just adds like another layer yeah and people really like that yeah no it's uh, because yeah they know it's like that special that little yeah it's kind of like, like homemade yeah. Yeah. yeah it's quite yeah it's that quasi homemade thing so then 
Uh, where do you see now? Where, the, you know that question. Where do yeah. you see like your next year moving forward? Next year is definitely uh, obviously still streaming, still doing YouTube stuff. Uh, trying to do more YouTube content that's not just like archive stream, whether it be like. Yeah, Maybe I've been not vlogs about per that. se, but we, we've been doing uh, compilations again. So for people who can't watch the stream, we give them like highlight videos every two weeks. Uh, maybe some more, whether it be, you know, if I get a gift from fans or a company, like unboxings. Uh, we've toured around with maybe doing vlogs or something okay. like that. So that'd be cool. So more content like that. And the main focus for the year is probably going to be like the store. I think the store is going to be the next big endeavor. Tina's going to be... Uh, uh, my girlfriend Tina's going to be uh, at the front of that, but obviously I will be helping yeah. all around. And, uh, you know, hopefully come next year we'll have uh, a bigger booth with more with more stuff and more people buy it. I just, be, I mean, I think it'd be great, but it'd just be like this crazy thing that your booth keeps like growing at our It taste. does. I think it'd be just like this, I just, I think that's like a great story. Almost, it is. You know? I mean, we, I mean, never had a booth. Obviously, yeah. I, before I went to Achievement Hunter, I, they, I went wherever they put me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, last year was a good sized booth. This year, even bigger. I can't imagine us getting like a... Uh, you know, like a. You're not gonna have a pavilion. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't need it. There's not I don't need a brown need man it. pavilion. Yeah, I don't. Somewhere. If it gets too big, then it's just like we need to dial it back. But <laughs> something like this, maybe a little bit bigger, so uh, maybe the line doesn't be up against the wall. But it's uh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy the growth that's happened in the past. You know, ever since I started doing this six, seven years ago to now, it's it's surreal. That's amazing. So then, thinking about the like growth of things. Uh, the last few months has been this trend of streaming that Twitch is not really the only game in town. And you know, yeah. as a Twitch streamer, how do you well? Do you feel that that's been actually a good thing? No, Twitch, absolutely. That they, like absolutely. Mixer and then Facebook is kind the, of been taking the biggest off. thing that I've noticed is obviously Twitch is now quicker to implement features that other uh, streaming services have. The biggest one that I've loved is Mixer was always known for having their very short delay. Yeah, Twitch yeah. was probably around like. 12 seconds on average and Mixer was around like two yeah. but uh, I guess because Mixer was gaining some traction Twitch is like uh, okay now it's almost instant so now they have um, the low they, they have like they have the low latency mode they call it and uh, you don't get the highest quality which is fine for me but the delay is one second maybe two at most yeah. so it's very it's much easier to carry a conversation with someone or chat when it's there's almost no delay. Yeah. So I, I put that on immediately and haven't looked back. Yeah, we use we don't stream on Twitch anymore, but yeah. when we did, like that was running a podcast. Yeah, it's when very you hard. want audience interaction and there's anywhere and it's not even it's a variable thing. It's anywhere from four yeah. seconds to fifteen seconds delay. No, yeah, it makes it impossible. Really, it's to, great that you know Mixer, uh, Facebook Gaming, YouTube Gaming yeah. is around because it kind of you know Twitch isn't the only only one anymore. So yeah. as they gain traction, then Twitch has to you know do hard or try harder to put in features to keep people on Twitch. No, I mean, that's like, I think always the best thing. Uh, competition is like always had the best yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, the, to use a reference I used with my team once upon a time, it's why d uh, WWE wrestling is not as good as it used to yeah. be in the 90s because there's no, there's, they, there's no competition. They, there's no competition. They can do so, whatever they want because it's like, yeah, who cares? They're yeah. going to watch this. We're the only choice. Yeah, they we're literally the only game in town unless you want to watch the indies. So it's the same yeah, thing yeah, with yeah. Twitch. Uh, for a long time, but now you know it's it's I, so I, I love seeing that you know, and I, I everyone always says, oh, do you you know, uh, do you hate other streaming services? It's no. like no, it's like it it's literally me at all. It, it, how Let does it, people do whatever they want wherever yeah. they want? People have do their own things. People have their exactly. own fun. You could work with people from anywhere, and I, I exactly. love that. I love the ability to build these communities mm -hmm. across borders, wherever, wherever it may be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a great thing. So. Um, I guess that really was like my one of my final topics for this year. Sweet, man. Is there anything else, uh, any other stuff in, imminently in the future you have coming up that you may want to talk about? Uh, just the store. Once again, we uh, want to launch an online store at some point in the next couple of months. We're hoping by the end of September, hopefully. We haven't really settled on a name yet, but I will obviously tweet it and pimp it out whenever sure. we get that going. Uh, other than that, just still streaming, still on YouTube, just living the dream, man. Living That's, the dream. I mean, that outstanding. I'm getting I'm the glad that uh, Twitch has been so good for you, Thank you. Uh, over these three years because mm -hmm. I still remember doing that first interview with you pretty much right after you left the yeah, team and Hunter. I was like terrified. I, yeah, no, it was like it, you were you were legitimately in, scared. You were like, legitimately I don't know scared. if this is going to work. But yeah, like it has so far. We had talked a few times, and then you were scared of it, but it's been now three years later, and... It's going better than I could have ever imagined. The one thing I'm very always happy about is with our interviews, there's, like, this different energy about you every year, this uh -huh. different, like, growing confidence of things. And it's yeah, nice. no, every year that goes by, I feel more and more confident in my ability to stream full-time and be a content creator and, you know, do stuff like this and have success with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's awesomely inspiring for, like, someone like myself and the rest of my team and the rest of our viewers yes. watching. So thank you for watching. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, fun, fun story, but before we end this, uh, you tweeted me a couple of days for RTX, like, <laughs> it's, it's time for our yearly interview, and I'm like, dude, I look forward to it more than my birthday, so here we are. My yeah. birthday's in like a month and a half, who cares, we had the interview already. Yeah, damn right. Might as well just skip the birthday. Yeah, we're good, we're good. That was, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, so yeah, um, 
you plug your stuff out if you don't mind. Yeah. Where they can find you. So you can find me on Twitter at Ray Narvaez Jr. Essentially my name. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash brownman. And YouTube is youtube.com slash brownman to see archive streams and uh, clip compilations and all that good stuff. Awesome. And then for constant calibrating, youtube.com slash concalpod is probably where you're watching this. We stream live on Mixer, mixer.com slash concalpod. We have podcasts, mental health awareness show, live streams, co-op streams. So, so much variety. There's really there's we, something for everybody. We are really a variety group. I could definitely say that. And uh, otherwise, you know wherever else you can find us. With that, from RTX Austin, literally the end of RTX literally. Austin 2018, I bid you a good sign-off. Thank you very much for watching.